I'm Faiza Amin at Queen's Park. Critics say Ontario has major gaps in its disability acts when it comes to service dogs. And one man says he's living proof of that. Well, when a bus stops, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to be questioned getting on the bus. Wesley Taylor alleges Mississauga bus drivers often deny him boarding because he's traveling with his service dog Rocco, a boxer who's accompanied him everywhere for the last two years as he copes with PTSD. If I'm riding the bus and I got to take three buses, at least one of those buses will harass me about the dog. It's a concern the city of Mississauga is investigating seriously since they tell us service animals are permitted on all my way buses as our pets. I think it's time that our province uh, has a good look and modernizes the way we deal with service dogs. Wesley's claims are raising concerns by MPP Mike Harris and disability advocates that the province does little to enforce its laws. People with disabilities shouldn't have to bring human rights complaints whenever they face these barriers. But that's what they're left with. And we're learning tonight the Ministry of Economic Development, Employment and Infrastructure has few guidelines in place for service animals. They tell us the customer standard does not require service animals be certified. There are no training requirements for them and it does not require registration or ID cards. Critics say this leaves room for imposters to claim fake service animals. We're now stooping to the lowest common denominator when, you know, people stoop to that level. Come on, Rocco. Let's cross this street. The province does admit that more work needs to be done. In a statement to City News, the ministry says, although we have made progress, there's still a long way to go to reach our goal of becoming an accessible province. Faiza Amin, City News.